Premium price tag, premium sound? Juan Carlos Bagnell here for Pocket Now, and it's time we take a listen to the Galaxy Note 8, brought to you by dbrand. Gotta throw a quick shout out to AT&T for helping us out with an additional review unit, just so Jaime isn't the one having all the Note 8 fun. Samsung hasn't always had the best relationship with sound, but this year, thanks to improvements in Qualcomm's chipset, numerous phones have been able to produce much higher quality audio output. Galaxy S7 to Galaxy S8, Samsung went from being a fairly mediocre performer to being significantly more competitive. We're expecting similar improvements for the Note 8, so let's start this off with some speaker chat. Samsung might have moved over to dual cameras, but we're still dealing with a mono bottom firing speaker. This is going to sound about as good as we can expect a single speaker solution to sound. And it's going to sound exceedingly similar to the Galaxy S8. Let's take a listen. I really wanted to mess with you guys and maybe flip the audio samples or just use one audio track for both phones, but that would have been a really jerky thing to do. The Note 8 represents another data point that mono audio is probably as good as it's gonna get. But shifting gears, we've got a big phone, big price tag. Should we expect big headphone audio? And again, the Note 8 performs almost identically to the Galaxy S8. It's not necessarily a bad thing. We've got true blue 32-bit audio reproduction means this phone can generate frequencies of sound that dogs cannot hear. Compared to the galaxies that came last year and before, we've got much better signal reproduction, a lower noise floor, better signal to noise ratio, and a much higher dynamic range. Those quality numbers are looking pretty good, but they do fall shy of a phone like the LG V20. And that's another area we were hoping to see some improvement on the Note 8, and that's in the amp output. Like the S8 before it, it represents a nice little bump over the phones from last year, but it's still outpaced by a phone like the OnePlus five and it's absolutely rocked by phones like the Axon 7 and the V20. If you're listening on consumer grade headphones, low impedance earbuds and headsets, this isn't really gonna be much of an issue. This is still plenty capable of driving that tier of audio solution. It's more the idea or the philosophy that someone spending this much on a phone might also be the type of consumer who would be looking to invest more in a pair of headphones. Happily, Samsung does include a really nice pair of Samsung earbuds tuned by AKG. At the time this video was shot, these are probably the best earbuds you can find included in the purchase price of a phone. And I'm also happy to see the return of this Adapt Sound preset manager built into the sound settings on the phone. It's not as techy cool as HTC's ear scanning solution, but I would highly recommend if you're picking up a Galaxy S8 or a Note 8, take the time to go through this listening profile. It takes a couple minutes as the phone sends a bunch of signals through your ears, and then what you get out of that is a personalized tailor fit sound profile for your ears and the headphones you're listening on. It's a nice little consideration for an activity that a lot of people take for granted on their phones. Make your audio fit for you. But I've rambled on enough, let's wrap this up. Where does that leave us with the audio on the Galaxy Note 8? Samsung continues to earn our most improved of the year award. Uh, from where we were last year to this year, this is excellent evolution. Still, when we're talking about a Note and that Vanguard feeling, that Vanguard experience, we were hoping to see just some tweaks to things like amp output on the headphone jack. And with a phone this large, it would be nice to have some sort of split speaker solution a la HTC. Maybe a high frequency sound coming out of the earpiece and low frequency sound coming out of the bottom. Ultimately though, we are happy to see Samsung delivering more capable hardware. It's a really nice feeling holding a premium product, an expensive product, which is no longer shamed by the headphone dongle on an iPhone. A built-in headphone jack on an expensive phone should be able to outperform a dongle. Man, that glass back does a great job reflecting my studio lights, showing off all my fresh fingerprints from every time I touch the phone. If only we had some dbrand skins to help protect that rear glass and add a bit more grip when I go out to use those dual cameras. Check out dbrand.com slash galaxy or hit the link in the description below to customize your tech with some fun colors and textures. I'm partial to dragon skin myself. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full Note 8 coverage, including reviews and comparisons. We're working on that real camera review. We're going to have that out to you real quick. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.